What's up you guys, Fezzo here. Welcome to answer cool video tutorial. In this tutorial we're gonna learn uh, how to make the bubbles effect in Cinema 4D. It's very nice effect so uh, let me show the example of the tutorial. So here it is. It's looking the awesome and uh, here is the nice uh, color. It's metallic a nice blue bubbles effect around the text so here's the examples so you can use this effect to create a nice background like that uh, I make this for my friends so you can check the uh, speed arts on my channel so it's very nice effect okay okay guys let's get started First, open your Cinema 4D and open the Lightroom, your favorite Lightroom. I recommend you open this Lightroom. I will put the link in the description so you can download it. Then click OK. OK, go to More Graph, More Text, and write your text. I'm going to write text. You can write your own text. So go to Depths and select uh, Write 70 and go to align and select middle and open the font select your own font favorite font so it's a little bit laggy okay here we go select your font I'm choosing the bebas let me circle it right there then go to caps and select the fillet cap and do the same on the end and change the radius from 5 to 2 centimeters 2 centimeter okay I'm going to zoom in a little bit here we go so drag your uh, favorite color I'm going to choose this one where it is okay right there and choose this one open it and go to reflection check this then go to texture and select personal and change the brightness uh, 10% and change the mix rate about 20% so here we go close this and drag this uh, material on the text So go over to the mod text and press Ctrl C and Ctrl V on your keyboard. So go to uh, plugins and tracer and select tracer. If you don't uh, know this plugin, so it's a um, very nice plugin. So you can download it on Google or search the on search on the YouTube how to get tracer for them for them something like that so it's really nice uh, plugins okay so when you get this plugin go to uh, go over the mod text go to plugins tracer and select tracer and in this section write the write the 30 and click break now it will take a few minutes so I will come back when the breaking is done. Okay, guys, uh, breaking is completed. So uh, you don't need the trace anymore. So close this. Then when this uh, piece is selected, go over the monograph and select fracture and drag these uh, pieces into the fracture. Then select this object again and select go to monograph effector and select random and uh, take this random into the fracture so here we go then uh, check this uh, like this make it green then go over the random and go over the effector 
and change the straight from 100% to about 6% it looks really nice so close this fracture then select this small text and go over this uh, press and hold left click and select atom array and move the mode, second more text into the atom array so as you can see it's uh, make the bubbles so go over the atom array and change the sphere radius about um, let me see 10 centimeter or you can select the 8 centimeter then uh, change the subdivision about 22 so it looks real nice then what you're gonna do is go over the mod text let's just close it ok guys go over the mod text and go to mod graph effector random again and go over the random and go over the deformer and select the deformer point and drag this uh, random on the mod text then click on the random go to effector and change the straight about 10 ok it looks really nice or you can select the uh, 12 ok it looks very nice so press uh, this icon right there and click this again your shortcut is F2 so you can press it on your keyboard so uh, select this text in the atom array and select your move tool and move it a little bit little bit back of your second text like that so press the F1 so here we go I'm gonna make it a little bit change the position a little bit right there ok guys so uh, final uh, step is adding the color into the bubbles so I'm gonna choose the blue color so find this material at the bottom I open it and go over the reflection and change the brightness about 10% change the mix rate about 20% go over the color and I'm gonna make it a little bit light blue select this color and click OK and drag this material into the atom array okay then final things is the pers uh, personal choice so I'm gonna select all of this and I'm gonna select my rotate tool and I'm gonna rotate it a little bit like that about 9 degree so you are ready to render it then click this render button so you will get the nice uh, bubbles uh, effects look like uh, this where it is look like this so you can write your own text and you can add the bubbles you can uh, select the as a uh, color for your bubbles and you can create the awesome uh, background like this so that's all guys thanks for watching don't forget like comment and subscribe bye bye